Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Dory from Finding Dory. So I'm going to start with the eye. I'm going to start from the very top and draw a big circle around to the bottom and back to the top. So starting up here, we'll curve down to the bottom, then curving back up to the top, and then connecting at the very top. From here, let's go ahead and draw the iris and pupil. So just in the center here, we're just going to draw a smaller circle. Starting from the top, come around to the bottom, and then back up to the top again. And from here, I'm going to draw the highlight circle on the top left corner here. Starting on the top here, draw a small circle. Now inside the iris, we're going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil. I'm going to tuck this in underneath this highlight. So starting at the bottom, let's work our way around and back underneath the highlight. Let's go ahead and color the pupil in black. From here, let's move over to the right side and draw the other eye. So now I have the character sort of facing in that direction. So this eye isn't going to be round. You're going to actually see it almost like squashed in like this. So I'm going to leave a little gap in the center here. I'm going to raise the eye up just a little bit higher than the one on the left. Starting from the top, I'm going to draw a curve. Just a, it's almost like a half curve from the top. Curve to the bottom. And from here, I'm going to draw the opposite. So now I'm going to curve outwards. Starting from the top, we'll curve out and then back to the bottom. Now I'm going to take that pupil and the iris and draw it on the left side edge right here. So tucked in underneath this edge, about halfway. So starting from the top, I'll curve around and then back to the bottom. Now we're going to draw that little highlight and we're going to tuck that little highlight on the top over here. So a little half circle. Now we're going to tuck the pupil in underneath. So starting on the right side of this highlight, we'll circle around, tuck this in underneath the side of the eye and color that all in black. From here, I want to move over towards the top edge of the body on the head and then come down and swoop down to the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top above the eyes, on the sort of on the right side of the center, curve up to the top of the head, and I want to bring this down to about halfway down the body. So right about here, I'm going to start in the, on the top here and just draw a curve going up to the top of the body. Now I'm going to come down. So now around halfway down the body here, I'm going to curve back up to the top tip of the tail, kind of like that. Let's go back to the front here. I'm going to draw the brow edge, so the edge of the brow that goes over the eye. So starting up here, we're going to do an overlap. I'm going to curve up, and then I'm going to curve this back down behind the edge of this eye. So curving around like this. So there's a little bit of an overhang here. I'm going to draw a little bit of striping. So up here, I'm going to do, again, another little overlap and just curve this underneath that brow area. Let's go over to the left side, so just above this eye, we're gonna draw a curve for the brow on the left. So I sort of want to come up to about the same height at the top. So I'm just gonna draw a curve from the left, going up, and then down on the right side. Let's go ahead and draw in the front of the face. So from this point, I wanna curve down the front beak of the mouth. So from here, I'm gonna curve down to right about here. It's quite a long beak. From here, I'm going to curve and round out up to the side of the mouth, right up here. Starting on the edge, I'm going to curve down and right to that point of the mouth. From here, we're going to draw a little bracket, so a little curve like this for the edge of the mouth. Now from here, from that same point, I'm going to curve down and tuck this in underneath the top edge of the lip here. Starting up at the top, curve down. Now as I come up, I'm just going to stop right there for a sec because I want to draw in some teeth. So I'm going to draw a curve like this. So from the left side, curve around like this. Now this bottom edge of the mouth is just going to tuck in underneath those teeth, just like that. Let's go back to the tail here. Now I'm going to draw in some of the stripe just to figure out how big that tail is. I'm just going to draw it probably about that big. So from this tip, I want to come down to the bottom tip of the tail. So what I'll do, starting from the top, I'm going to curve in, and then I'm going to curve it back out. So rounding out the center of the tail, and now I'm going to take this and just basically flip it over. So the bottom of the tail coming down and then out, just like that. From here, I'm going to curve in towards the center of the body. So I'm just doing a curve like this, because this is going to come back up over the eye. So from here, I'm just going to draw a nice, even curve going up and then down. From this point, I want to curve up. So I'm going to curve up, make my way up towards this brow. So I'm just going to reverse the curve, so going back, curving backwards. 
From here, I'm going to curve again in the opposite direction. Just tuck this in underneath that brow. So you got a little bit of an overlap on the brow here. I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to draw a little stripe coming up so I have a little bit of overhang on the brow. I'm just going to curve this right back in like that. Okay. From here, let's go and work our way down towards the bottom of the body. So this part of the mouth, I'm just going to do an overlap and curve this underneath for the body, right about here, and then just work my way back in towards the tail. But right here, I'm going to leave some room for the fin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the front of the mouth. I'm going to curve all the way around, almost like a circle. I'm just working my way around like this. Now right about here is where I'm going to put the fin. So I'm going to start at the front of the fin. I'm going to start up here, curving down and out towards the left. I'm going to close this off. So I'm just going to bring the body right in towards that fin. Now from this point, I want to curve back out. So it tapers out, starts to taper out, and then pull this back in to right about here. I'm going to leave a little gap in between the two lines. So curving back in like that. This body, the under part of the body, I'm going to imagine coming back underneath the fin and then working its way back towards the tail. So right about here, I kind of want to work my way in like this, just like that. Let's go ahead and draw the backside fin. So I'm going to take this little tip, draw it back here. So starting at the back edge, drawing a little curve for this, and I'll taper back out underneath the body like so. Let's draw a little bit of a stripes on the fin. So up here, I'm just going to draw a curve towards the front edge. We're going to do that twice. I'm just going to get a little bit narrower as I come towards the front, like so. From here, we're going to draw in the little um, detail in the back of the tail here. So from this point, I'm just going to converge towards a little rounded tip. So from the top, I'm going to go straight in an angle. And then on the bottom, I'm going to go straight up in an angle. And then I'm just going to round that out and just connect the two lines, the top and the bottom. And here, there's sort of like a little kidney bean shaped little detail here. So I'm going to start on the top. Curving around, I'm going to round this out along the bottom and come up. Now from here, I just want to connect those two points with the round curve. I'm just going to pull it in just like that. Now from here, I'm going to draw the back dorsal fin. So up on the top of the head, I'm just going to curve down and around. So I'm just curving down and it gets a little bit wider as I get towards the bottom. And then from here, I just curve in the opposite direction, just curving and tucking that in behind the head. All I want to do along this edge is draw a series of these little curves all the way across the top. Now I want to take that and I want to do the same thing on the bottom here. So on the bottom edge here, let's draw a curve. And now I'm going to take this point and curve underneath the body and it's going to get a little bit narrower as it gets underneath here. Starting here, curving underneath the fin and then back underneath the body like this. Now up here, all I want to do is just take that edge and just duplicate it all the way across until I get to the end right here. And the last little bit of detail, I want to draw a little bit of the bones or the spines that go along the edge of the tail here. So starting in the center of this curve, I'm going to draw a straight line across and stop about halfway. I'm going to find the center point between here and here, which is right here, and I'm going to curve towards that same length, just like that. Same with the bottom, so finding the halfway point between this center line and the bottom tip, which would be right here, just draw a curve going across. Now I just want to find the center points of each one and just draw that same length line across like this to give myself this nice sort of spine effect on the tail. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Dory from Finding Dory. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.